live from Route 6. And very interesting, Tonkanuck, or you could say Tonkanuck, Pennsylvania. A real happening place. If you happen to be working at uh, basically the only places like Procter Gamble, or you're one of those natural gas drillers, not the only thing happening around here. Not even cows, my friend. Not even cows. It's a daytime drive through edition of Drag the Lunatic Rats! Hey everybody! Oh everybody! I'm here to rant today. I know I look like shit today. Right? Oh, of course! I look old today. God, I look old. I think I look like my grandfather. Friends, it's really bad and sad when you wake up in the morning and you look in the mirror and you look like your one grandfather. And at the end of the day, at night, you look in the mirror and you look like your other grandfather. That's truly sad. Bet you might not have a... <laughs> You'll have fun with that one. Anyhow, what I am here to rant about today. Well, people, if you uh, happen to live in a rural area, I know there's a couple of people that uh, actually aren't from the U.S., but uh, and a good portion of them aren't from Pennsylvania, but uh, my subscribers. But anyway... If you happen to live in a rural area, of course you know summer's here, and that means fire company picnics and parades. Now here's my rant about that. Nothing against, has nothing to do with the picnics and parades, because I'm a first responder myself. And some of the yam bags that go to these things, that's becoming my favorite word again, yam bags. And the issue is that people just don't pay attention, don't give a shit, things like that. Especially, surprise, surprise, the younger generation. You could say millennials are even younger than that. You know, these teenage kids. The future is freaking scary. I have seen the future, people, okay? I have seen the future, and I will be selling, you know, guns and knives and everything to off yourself with, and some ropes and things like that as well, because the future just, wow, very scary, people, very scary. Anyhow, here's the issue. You got a parade going on, about an hour long. And first of all, you have the yam bags that... Well, first you have the yam bags at PennDOT, who don't even put signs up to forewarn people that there is going to be parade and that the road's going to be closed. I mean, come on. How much effort could it possibly take to put up a sign advising people? You put up stupid signs advising people that there's strong winds or you, or you have those electronic signs saying that there's going to be uh, a storm or things like that. Or, you know, PennDOT's going to be working and having a uh, 50 miles of road closed for a 100-foot section of work that they're doing. But you don't tell people that a road between this time and this time, the road's going to be closed for like an hour and a half. You don't bother doing that at all. So there are people, because it is vacation time and that, you have people that get caught off guard. Who can, of course, get all pissy and lay on their horse and all this other shit and just get totally pissed off at the concept that there is a parade going on. You know, that there's a carnival, a fundraiser thing, and, you know, how, how dare firefighters do this? You know, they're uh, eating to, into my vacation time. Anyhow, so you got those jab bags that have an issue with all that. Then there's another group of yam bags. The people who just do not pay attention. That's right, we've seen them all, with the exception of, like, New York City, because in New York City, they'll just gun you down, and NYPD will just gun you down if you cross the barricades, uh, you know, in front of the parade, because they'll think you're a whack job, a terrorist, or something, and they jump on your ass, so nobody does it, except for out here. Out here, you'll see it on television, even, with some of the parades that they have, St. Patty's Parade, things like that, where people will just gladly walk across the road in front of the parade. Now, it's one thing when you have, like, the twirlers twirling, you know, hell, well, if you get hit with a baton that falls, a misguided baton that falls and puts your eye out, well, hell, that's your own damn problem. But, 
when you're walking across, you can see the fire trucks and things like that coming down. And granted, they're not barreling down the road really slow. I mean, they're not going super slow, but they're not barreling down the road. You go, you turn around and you basically just not even run sometimes, just walk in front of the freaking trucks. Like, really? What the hell is up with that? Are you that stupid? These fire trucks are as like heavy as tractor trailers. They can't stop on a dime. But you're gonna walk, not like, you know, 100 feet, 50 feet away from it. You're gonna walk like 20 feet in front of the damn truck that's coming. Or, a lot of the fire companies, a lot of the floats, things like that, throw candy out for the kids. Parents, hello? Uh, does parade mean no parenting skills? Like, what is up with that? Do you not know how to corral your kids or teach them? Don't run out for that friggin' Tootsie Roll that's right by the tire of the friggin' fire truck. I'm really surprised that there hasn't been a parade with squashed little kids all over the road. Because some of these kids will just run out in front of the vehicles to get that piece of candy. When there's a whole bunch, you know, a whole bunch of candy that was thrown towards the shoulder. Unless you happen to live in one of those towns that have actually have a sidewalk. And, uh... They try going up to the trucks. They're like... The kids don't watch, they'll run out, pick a piece, and run back. Parents, um, guess what? We're sitting high up in those fire trucks. We don't see your little kid that suddenly darts out. We might not see them. So you wind up with squash kid all over the road. That sort of has to be scooped up, just like the horse shit coming out of the horses in the parade, which we don't have horses, but some parades we do. So parents, where the hell are your parenting skills, really? And another thing, there's a twisted thing on this side because I'm part of, you know, like I said, I'm a first responder and uh, a little side note to some fire companies, you got to lay off the sirens just a little bit, just a little bit. When you notice on all the kids, I understand we get a kick out of the fact that you look over and there's a bunch of kids crying and screaming because their ears hurt because they basically have their fist in their ears trying to block the sound. That's an indication that maybe you should cut back just a little bit on the sirens. Especially if you're one of those fire companies that have a queue and it's louder than shit. And you're laying on it for the whole parade. Why? There really is no reason to be laying on it that much. None whatsoever. But there's also a thing towards the parents. Hello, parents. Do you not realize that these parades are loud? Now, I'm not saying don't bring your kid. What I'm saying is... Why don't you go to the damn store, go to Walmart, pick up one of those little $3 things with the stupid little foamy things to put in their ears at least. So they don't totally damage their ears. Really? Come on. People. Seriously, where's your parenting skills? I, I enjoy it. You drive by and you see the kids that are doing that, you know, like, they're, because it's loud. I usually, not that I'm having fun, but I, I always stick my head out the window type of thing, and I'm always doing, you know, I'm like, do, you know, covering my ears saying I know, you know, to them. But there's no parenting there. You let your kids run around, and you don't care about your kids' ears. Really. Back to the other yam bags, though, running out. Then you have your parades with the drunk yam bags. Those are the best. We don't really get them, but I've seen like St. Patty's Day parades and things like that, where you got the drunk asses, like literally trying to get across the road that are just like stumbling. Come on, and do the NYPD thing and just gun them down. Let the floats run over them. So that the girl on the phone could be like, <laughs> wait, when you run them over. Really, seriously. Come on, people. 
Let's use some sparks here. But then, there's another thing for the after part. How disrespectful, first of all, some of these millennials and some of these younger kids are. Amazing how disrespectful you are. Granted, it's a little crowded, it's a carnival. But do you do you kids actually have no respect for a unit for the uniform at all? You're walking through, you know, you're in uniform and you get these snot-nosed kids that like literally walk into you, bump into you, won't get out of your way. Look at you like you're the piece of shit. That you're you're interfering with their day because you're trying to get by. Again, comes down to parenting. Because a lot of these kids, I guess, aren't taught respect. Hell, my ass would be beat for not honoring a uniform. Be it military, be it cops, be it firefighter, be it EMS, anything like that. These kids just like, they just group up and everything. They don't get out of the way. They don't even have respect for people coming through with strollers. They don't move for nothing. And these are the same little turds that you'll see in church on a Sunday with their parents acting all godly. Screw you. You're not acting godly. You're a fake. Come on. Show your true damn colors. You don't have any respect except for your friends. And even for them, you probably don't have much respect for either. Yeah bags. They're the younger yeah bags. They're going to grow up to be a sack of yam bags and a, they're going to grow up to be yam bags and a sack of potatoes, basically. Seriously. Come on. No respect at all. Or they just look at you because you're in uniform. Like they, It's like they look down at you. No respect, nothing. I mean, it's the same generation of kids that, even millennials, that very few of them even have respect for military uniforms. I mean, I'm not saying you're supposed to, you should be going out to every military person saying thank you for your service. Because I understand what you kids, that takes a lot of goddamn effort because that has to pull you away from your phone. Maybe there should be an app out there to show you how to be respectful. I bet you we'd have a respectful generation of kids and millennials if there was a freaking app on their iPhone teaching them this. Like, no respect at all, you know, you know, at least acknowledge, give a nod to somebody in the military at least. Really? Come on. Scary. The future is so damn scary, it isn't funny. And maybe some of you watching me are millennials, and maybe you're pissed off at what I'm saying. If you are, comment! Go ahead. Have the balls to leave me a freaking comment. Very few people are ballsy enough to say something, or to say, Frank, you're wrong, or Frank, this is why I do this, or Frank, this is why I'm a stupid yambag millennial. Maybe there's an app out there. I gotta look it up. Maybe there's a yambag app out there. Because there's so many of them out there that are yambags, there's gotta be something that groups them all together. A common bond between yambags. Or maybe they're just yambags to each other. Trying to fight to be named the ultimate yam bag. And why do I say yam bag? Because calling you a scumbag would be a step too high, too much of an honor. So come on, people. Show a little damn respect. You know what? First of all, your first responders that do these things. Don't forget, we're providing a service for free. We risk our lives for free for you. Show a little respect. Come on, people. Really. I'm not saying you should kiss our ass and things like that, but a little acknowledgement sometimes would be nice, especially after parades. There are some people that do show acknowledgement during parades, but afterwards would spit on your grave. Anyhow, it's a wonderful morning out there. Go out and enjoy it. Unless, of course, you're watching this thing when it's pouring rain. Then, oh well, tough shit. I pranked a lunatic. I approve this message. And that, my friends, is all I have to say about that. Birthday card, birthday card.